Hey guys, so it's the end of May, and I'm finishing off May with a mermaid picture, because, you know, hashtag mermaid and all that stuff. Sorry if I sound a little... Bleh. Um, I, kind of, I currently have the uh, summer cold that's running around. Seems like everyone and their mom has this cold right now. So, uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, um, a lot of stuff happens in May. You know, they have the whole May the 4th be with you thing, but... I actually kind of prefer Mermaid more. Um, I enjoy Star Wars, and I do take May the 4th and Revenge of the 5th commissions every year, so just, you know, keep a lookout in the future if that is something you would like. It just know that every time, every, yeah, around May that year. I'm rambling, so this is why I'm sick and I shouldn't record, but I gotta get this audio and video up because I have good news. And that is, Cody and I are house-sitting for the summer. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, Cody and I don't have the best financial situation currently. And so, we currently live with his parents. And we're doing so to save up to move out and save up for our wedding. But because of that, uh, living with my fiancé's family can be very, very, very stressful. And he knows it. And we're trying our best to get out. But, you know, <laughs> just, the state we live in is very hard to do so unless you are making a fuck ton of money. So, we are currently house-sitting for his grandparents, which is wonderful because things have been very stressful. That's going to be a video soon that I'm going to talk about, which is, you know, how work environments affect your work ethic and artists and just people in general, because that's something I don't feel like enough people fucking talk about. And yes, I, as someone who keep, who pushes for people to, yeah, you gotta work all the time, you gotta, you know, if you wanna do this, you gotta make it happen. I do still believe that. But, but, you know what, I'm rambling, that'll be for that video. See, this is, again, should not make videos when you're sick, Michelle, shouldn't record. But, I am a workaholic, and I wanna get this done, so it's nice and edited and ready for the end of May. So, um... The picture I made here was something a little, I don't want to say different than what I normally do, but I had the idea, I originally, you see in the corner, I have a little idea sketch, that was actually going to be the original picture, but I really didn't like it, I thought it felt, it looked very stiff and not as fluid as I wanted, and I think that's something else that other artists need to look into when you're doing your work. There's nothing wrong with, you know, having an idea for something and then being, you know, getting it down on paper or getting like the basics done in, you know, your tablet. And then you look at it and you're like, oh, this isn't exactly what I was thinking originally. And I think that's why a lot of people end up dropping projects. I know. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I gotta got have some tea. Oh, my fucking throat. Mm. Oh. Apple spice chai tea. You are, you are saving my throat. Um. Because, uh, the reason is I feel... You know, obviously you can't do that with commissions. I don't do that with commissions, but like when I do personal pictures, I'll have an idea and then I'll get the idea done that's in my head and I'm like, no, this still isn't right. You, I, eh, eh. And so I did something I actually normally never do. I never usually do this. I'll be like, fuck it, I'm gonna finish my idea. But just it was bothering me so much because I wanted to look more fluid and agile and, you know, a little koofy. Like, koofy? Koofy? The fuck? I meant like spinny and fluid. And then I got the idea for this one. The one you're seeing me work on now. And this is a print on my Redbubble shop if you want to get it. The colors are from a color palette I've saved. I feel that people really need to look up color palettes when they're trying to make new things because even people who are good at color theory and are good at color choice, you never know. Like, these are colors I never would have thought would work well together, but they flow so perfectly. So I think it's fun to look up, you know, color palettes and do those color palette challenges. Like I did with my um, Cali picture that I did for my, uh, why, you know, why get adoptables, what are adoptables video. It's, it's very fun and it helps you think things through like you normally wouldn't, you know, you'd use colors you normally wouldn't. So that's what happened with this, and I think she came out beautifully. I've always loved mermaids, and, like, as a kid I used to always kind of pretend I was a mermaid because my parents, um, used to have a pool. Well, they still have a pool, but I don't live there anymore, so I can't really use their pool. But I would love just feeling, you know, the freedom and the fluidity of water and being able to swim and how it would be like to be a mermaid. So, yeah, expect next year. I'm definitely making it that next year I'm going to do, like, an Inktober mermaid thing. <coughs> <coughs> oh, oh, fuck. Okay, I really can't make the audio this long. But, yeah, so plans for next year is I'm going to definitely do an Inktober mermaid sort of thing. Because I really want to. I think it'd be fun. And I haven't seen a lot of people do that. So be prepared for that. I'll obviously film things in advance. I probably won't have a picture. 
like a video up every day, but I'll have a compilation of what I've done at the end of the week on top of my normal art videos. But um, another thing I wanted to say around the original topic, I, I really am rambling here, so I'm sorry. <laughs> this is kind of important. Um, since we are house sitting, I actually have good internet. For those of you guys who don't know uh, where we live with Cody's family, they live in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. And because they live in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, internet providers do not like us. In fact, we tried calling and getting everything done, and our current internet provider said that that entire housing area isn't even scheduled to get better internet land uh, internet lines until 2020. Like, it's not just us. All of our fucking neighbors are screwed. So it really makes us mad because we're like, yo, we live here. We'd like good internet. And they're like, well, no, cities are important, and then we'll do that. And it's one of those things where it's like, you know, we're not supposed to have a monopoly, but you can only get one internet provider in that section, just like you can only have one energy company and one sewage company. That's 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 a rant for a whole nother day. <laughs> oh, God, I need more tea. Mm. Mm. Uh. Yeah. So what I was trying to say, I'll probably make another video like later on in the week with this, is for the entire summer that we are here, um, I will be able to do live streams more often. I'll try to make little announcement thingies when I can, but for sure, Mondays and most Saturdays, I will be doing commission streams. Commission streams are, well, like the title, like, like I just said, a commission stream. So if you guys have ever wanted to get a commission from me and watch me work on it, I've been doing commission streams every Saturday and Monday since we moved here. Um, do note, though, commission stream prices are more expensive than normal prices because it is all in one sitting and you are getting it same day. Just a little thing, and I'll, I'll make, I do want to make a video in the future about commission streaming and how it's actually really important for artists who want to be commission artists and stuff in the future. But yeah, that's, you know what, that's all I can do. Um, I hope this video was informative for you guys, and I hope you guys liked the picture. I really love how this came out, and it's a very proud print I have in my store. So, as always, I will see you guys next time, and hopefully I'm not dying of this sore throat so I can actually talk to you guys. <laughs> love you. Bye.